and a very warm welcome to you. I'm Hayley Palmer and it's really good to have you here with me today. Now this is a new show where my guests get to pick their favourite tunes of all time. Now today's guest is musician and songwriter Mark Reed from British Norwegian band A1 and here is what happened when I caught up with him and he chose his favourite songs. Here we go. Mark Reed, it's great to have you on the show. Hey Hayley, how you doing? Good to see you. Ah, uh, how are you in lockdown? We're getting through it, aren't we? Yes, we are. Very close to the end now. Um, I'll be honest, I feel a bit bad about saying this, but I've actually really enjoyed having time at home. It's, it's kind of just what I needed. I mean, obviously it's quite extreme. It's a long time to spend at home, uh, not, not interacting with people, but I, it's, we just did a tour, so it's just yeah. what I needed. So nice bit of yeah. time at home. Nice bit of relaxation, coffee, sunbathing. I know, I know. Um, no, sunbathing. no sunbathing. <laughs> no sunbathing. Let's rewind because uh, you came from a very musical you know, sort of background, didn't you? That's right. Uh, way back generations. I mean, my granddad uh, and his dad and his granddad, they've all been involved in music halls, performance, musical theatre, uh, right down to my uh, my grandmother is one of the 60s Tiller girls. Now, if you don't know those, those were wow, a dance troupe. Dance yes. troupe used to appear every night on Sunday night at the Palladium. Not like the can-can. Oh, I nearly showed what I'm wearing then. Uh, luckily, <laughs> I am wearing trousers. Um, but yeah, they do the whole, the, the, the front line kicking and all that That's kind of amazing. stuff. So that was my nan. And uh, my mum plays drums. Uh, and wow. my dad is a singer and guitarist in a rock and roll band called the Wild Angels. So yeah, a bit, bit of a musical family. That's brilliant because I don't have a musical theatre family and I can't sing a note. I am tone deaf. So <laughs> I'm very sure about that. I'm very sure about that. Uh, now let's go into your first song. Really good song choice. What is it? Uh, first song, it's actually a little bit obscure, but it has a real kind of cult following. A lot of people really love and very passionate about this song, whereas some people have never heard of it. They've never heard of the band. It's a band from Holland called Ten Sharp. I was drawn to it because it's got a really uh, lovely piano intro. And any song that's got a really nice piano intro, yeah. uh, you know, usually grabs me. And uh, this was one of the first ones I remember hearing when I was really young. And it's a song called You. Wow, let's check this out. Here we go. Let's talk about your band that you were in, a little band called A1. Um, you just did absolutely brilliantly. I'm going to read this out. You had two UK number ones. Did we? Cool. Eight top ten hits. Sounds about right. Three studio albums. It's five now, but that biog was probably written a while ago. <laughs> I looked it up on Wiki. And, uh, yeah, I was, can't trust Wiki. And, and a Brit Award. Yes. Oh, why did I? I, I should have had it on we the need piano, the Brit Award. far too brag, far too braggadocious. So I've left it upstairs. Oh, brilliant. But you really did have some great times, didn't you, in A1? And just some brilliant records. Thank you. Thank you. No, it was really good fun. I mean, I think we were around, uh, out around... Uh, when there was a real kind of, well, I would say this, but a real golden age of pop music with with Five, with S Club Seven, with Steps, yeah. with so many great bands, Bewitched, uh, Nine on One, I could, the list goes on, Damage, and uh, so many good pop bands were around at that time because of things like Smash It's magazines, Top of the Pops magazines. Oh, I love Smash It. You remember, you remember Live and Kicking and all these things? Yeah. CD UK, SMTV. All these things don't exist anymore, so there isn't really the the same platform for these pop bands. So I think it's... You know, it's all it's all done on YouTube now. But um, yeah. we, we came out at a great time and I'm really glad to have been a part of that kind of, you know, pop boom. Yes. Well, we are going to play out an A1 song, if that's OK with you. So. I actually like this one. <laughs> it's called... You sound surprised. Like... <laughs> no, I really like it. It makes me happy. Uh, it's called Same Old Brand New You. It got to number one. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm really <laughs> proud of this one because this was the first song that we released that we wrote that got to number one. The first, our first number one was Our Hearts Take On Me. Uh, you knew that, obviously. Yeah, um, oh, right. yeah of course. Um, yeah, so this was the first song that we wrote that went to number one. Oh, piano. Well, would you like to introduce your song? I would love to. This was, a, this was filmed in Gravesend in Kent. But it's doubling up for like, you know, uh, America, like Kansas. It's got this kind of nice golden look. But now you know it's actually in Gravesend. Free. Check this out. Welcome back to At Home with Hayley, the show where my guests get to pick their favourite songs 
of all time. Now today's guest is the brilliant Mark Reed from British Norwegian band A1. He's picking his favourite songs, he's picking some classics. Let's catch up with him more. Uh, now I want to talk about your songwriting uh, because Little Birdie told me that you have written with Robin Gibb, Jason Donovan, Rick Astley. Is this correct? Um, if that little birdie was Wikipedia, somebody needs to, to shoot it because it's not always doesn't always tell. The oh. But I, I can tell you that. Yeah, that's certainly true of Robin Gibb. I had the opportunity to write with him and he's actually wow. sung one of my songs. Uh, Rick Astley, I've written with, but we, we haven't actually released anything together. Jason Donovan, I've sung on several of his albums. Um, but we Amazing. haven't actually written together. But there's loads of other lists like uh, Boyzone, yeah. Michael Bolt and loads of other people that I actually have written for. Uh, you know, Charlotte Church way back in the day, which was great. But um, yeah, it's, I love songwriting. That's probably one of my... That's... It's quite hard to do though, isn't it? It's, it's quite tricky. The tricky part is actually meeting somebody, you know, for the first time and they say, right, now we need to write a song. You don't literally just walk through the door. How are you doing? Sit down and away you go. That's tricky because yeah. you don't know anything about each other. And yeah. writing songs together is actually quite a sort of an intimate thing because you actually really yeah. do have to understand each other and get under the skin a little bit uh, with what you're feeling. Um, so that is tricky when it's literally, hi, how you doing? Right, let's go. You know, and that's how. And do you write the chorus first? No, generally, oh. aim for a strong chorus that's first. So ultimately, that's where you're uh, trying to get to. But you pretty much just try and find a good lyric or you try yeah. and find a good hook. Um, if you start from the chorus backwards, I think you tell less of a story. You're you're kind of um, cornered into writing whatever the chorus is about. But if you just kind of, it, there, there's no rules. There's no rules. Speaking of rules, we're going to go into your next choice. Uh, oh, new rules. Do you believe her? That was good, wasn't it? How did that happen? <laughs> We've got this. Uh, two weeks at number one in 2017. Why this song, Mark? Because of all the recent uh, music that I'm really into, the, uh, Dua Lipa stands out. Uh, there's, I've got a lot of favourites at the moment, Billie Eilish and, and uh, I think Dua Lipa, just cracking pop songs, so good. And this one grabbed me for the first time I heard it. So if I, if I was to write songs, as much songs as I used to now, I'd be writing stuff like this because this is the kind of thing that gets me excited. Brilliant song. Love it. Okay, here it is, Dua Lipa, New Rules. Now, Mark, I know you've done a few uh, musical theatre shows. I saw you in Hairspray. With yes, Russell you Grant did. In Portsmouth. Yay! At the Gaiety Bar. That was one. Yeah, Southsea. That was really nice. And it's funny, you were saying earlier on about being professional with the uh, 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 AirPods and things like that. In that show, I actually had somebody smash a microphone into my teeth <laughs> whilst I was on stage. <laughs> and I had to carry on. Sorry, I'm not laughing. With a chipped tooth. I was no. not happy. Yeah, it's still there. I still haven't had it fixed yet. It's one of those things where things happen in, uh, in the moment and you just have to carry on, don't you? So. You are a true performer. You kept going. See the show. Thanks for coming. I did a big shout out to Russell Grant as well. Love him. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. We really do. We really do. Uh, now, your next song, Don't Stop Me Now, Queen. Absolute timeless classic. Why this song? Um, this was one of those songs before it was kind of overplayed and everybody did a cover of it. This was the song that kind of got me moving, got me out of bed. No matter what state of mind I was in, if you put this song on, you're going to jump up and you're going to be running and dancing around the place. It's just a fact. It's one of those songs. I need it to lockdown. Oh, yes. Perfect lock lockdown song. It really is. But we want everyone on their feet right now. Let's party. Here is Queen, Don't Stop Me Now. Welcome back to At Home with Hayley, the show where my guests get to pick their favourite songs of all time. Now, today's guest, as you know, is the brilliant Mark Reed from British Norwegian band A1. He is picking some absolutely brilliant tunes. Shall we speak to him more? Go on then. Uh, you have a new single that has just been released. Uh, my mum actually heard this on the radio, so big shout out to Mummy Palmer who heard this originally. Um, it is a really beautiful song, and I think it is just so appropriate and relevant right now. Oh, so it's her that heard it, that's brilliant. Yes. Fantastic, um, yeah, it is it's uh, it is a lockdown song, and I know some people might be like, oh no, here we go. But actually, it, it comes from the right place. Um, it's 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 something that we're all going through, something that we can all relate to, and and I found that it's the lyrics have really resonated with a lot of people, which is fantastic. And it came about in a really uh, a interesting way that an old school friend got in touch with me oh. after years, absolute years, and said, hey, "Back in the day, 
yeah uh, literally from you know first school and stuff and he said i've written some lyrics and i wonder if you want to have a go putting a melody to them i haven't got a clue what to do with them so i and they actually turned out to be really good and uh, i sat down on the piano and in five ten minutes had written the whole song brilliant and i love the video as well and it's quite special isn't it because a lot of your fans have got involved yeah i was originally because i mean you know not a lot of people make music videos these days and i was thinking oh, i'll just do a lyric video but then i had the idea of actually um inviting fans to send in videos and pictures of their experiences during the lockdown it seemed like a good idea at the time but 200 videos later i'm trying to put all of these clips into one shot and it was uh it, it took a while but um it's a really lovely video and 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 a lot of people have been quite moved by it and I'm very happy to see themselves in, in uh, on the screen. They're loving it. Brilliant. Well, I think it's just beautiful. Would you like to introduce your song? I would love to. It's got a really short and memorable title. It is. Um, here it is. It's Where Were You When the World Stopped. Where were you? Where were you when the virus struck? When the trains were emptied and the pubs were shut? Where were you when spring arrived? When the air cleared and the blues were sky high? Where were you when the world stopped? When the streets fell silent and the shops ran out? Where were you? Where were you when fear gripped the land? When death stalked the wards and a nation stood to applaud? I was at home, keeping my distance at home Washing my hands of you at home Calling my friends, holding my head up high I was at home, playing my part at home Holding back the tide, I was home When the spring arrived, where were you? Where were you? Signs went up when no kids were playing on these empty streets. Italians cried, none shall sleep. Centurion Tom rose to the feet. I was at home, keeping my distance at home, washing my hands of you at home, calling my friends, holding my head up high. I was at home, playing my part. distance at home washing my hands of you at home calling my friends holding my head up high So, Mr. Mark Reed, we have got a question from one of our viewers, Claire. She wants to know, what has been your biggest accomplishment in your career so far? Oh, I don't, that's the thing. I never really stopped to think about, like, accomplishments and what we're doing. And you know. But you must do. We're in lockdown. You have to think. No, no. I haven't stopped to think. I've just, you know, 
continue like just been doing creative stuff you know um uh, writing new songs working on an album making videos and things like that so uh, i think if you start thinking about all the great things you've done or whatever or you, your wins and your losses you just get caught up in all of it you get sort of stuck inside your head so um i'm taking a really long time to answer this question now but if i was to come <laughs> yeah. up with something i would probably say um performing a song that i wrote in the royal albert hall uh ah. for um the uh for help for heroes which was an amazing yeah. experience i did a song called we will remember them and um it got a stand innovation in in the world all because of the sentiment of the song and that was a really powerful experience amazing so feeling yeah lovely. yeah so i think i'm gonna go with that and then in terms from an a1 uh, uh standpoint i think obviously winning a brit is a million uh, is brilliant yeah but also see the uk number one that was cool we got, i've got like wow. it's, it's my door it's my doorstop upstairs like a nice little statue of a number one and this show obviously well of course I, I, <laughs> yeah you were talking about like back before but <laughs> now then this is a new, this takes things to a new to this a new takes level. things to a new level exactly now you have got uh, two song choices here that you haven't quite made up your mind on. Um, so one is Billy Joel, Uptown Girl, or the other is When September Ends, Green Day. What are you going to go for? Well, the reason I was saying about Wake Me Up When September Ends is because it's a really like thought provoking song. And people associate that with getting out of a situation of going through a really rough time. So I thought that is actually in a way it's it's the perfect lockdown song. Um, you know, wake me up when coronavirus ends. And I'm surprised somebody hasn't already done a, a new version. It doesn't really roll <laughs> off the tongue, though, like September. But but I don't want to depress everybody. So let's have something a bit more lively, a bit more fun with a bit of yeah. Joel and Uptown Girl. Oh, right. yes. This one's going out to David Samuel, by the way, because I know he's watching. Welcome back to At Home with Hayley, the show where my guests get to pick their favourite songs of all time. Oh yes, we have the brilliant Mark Reed from A1 on the show. And uh, here's his last song choices. I think you're in for a treat. It's been a nice afternoon, aren't we? Oh, it's been really lovely. Thank you. Do really you really mean it. that? Yeah, absolutely. I can't believe it's been so fast. It's it really has. Back. Uh, but no, I want to talk to you about your Boys Are Back tour. Let me just get this straight. It's Five Damage 911, and you guys, this is the dream. Not a bad lineup, is it? It's a really yeah. good lineup. It's actually, you know, four, four of the best from that era and uh, offering something for everyone, you know. And, uh, and it's a really good live show because each band does kind of all of their hits. And, um, you know, uh, at least half hour from each band. And it's, it's, it's brilliant. Really, really, really fun show. We did three weeks of the tour uh, up until all this happened. And then the, the yeah. last couple of weeks were, were um, canned for that uh, point in time. But they're going to be rescheduled next February. That's Yay! 2021 is the year. Hey, we're Who are you? Pause there. Coming back to Southampton, coming back to Brighton. And we're going all the places near me, which I can't wait. Yes, bring it on. Right, your next song, Mr. Blue Sky. Hey. You love this song, don't you? I do. It's such an uplifting song. And let me tell you, right, my dad is a huge influence on me uh, when it comes to music. Oh. As is my brother, my brother Colin, who's a DJ. But my dad, uh, he probably introduced me to most of the music that I grew up listening to. And I sometimes used to go to work with him. And when I'd sit in the car, he would put on a song. And I can almost remember like it was yesterday. I was probably about six or seven years old. And I remember when he played this song in the car. And it just starts up, it just goes. And it's that. And I'm like, it's like, what is this? This song is pure adrenaline and energy. I love it. So straight away, it just like, this is the greatest song ever. Um, so that hit me with such an impact. And all these years later, it's still a very, very popular song. Um, it was even featured in um, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, the, uh, the uh -huh. Marvel film. So in the actual opening scene, Groot, Groot the little uh, tree, is dancing to this song. So it's, it's a very popular song, and it's the one that, that kind of gets me going the most. Yay! Love it. Well, here it is, Mr. Blue Sky, on your feet, everyone. Oh, Mark, I can't believe it's gone this quick. So nice. I really, really enjoyed it, and um, I, I, I can't wait for you to invite me back. <laughs> we'll think about it. We'll think about it. Yeah, okay. think about Thank it, you maybe. so much. You have been such an incredible guest, and we can't wait for the Boys Are Back Tour 2021. We're holding on for that. So, And I think to finish, I think you are sat by your piano 
I think we all deserve at home a bit of a musical number to cheer us up in lockdown. Really? Yes. Let's Come on, uh, Mark, you can do it. Okay, okay. Uh, what are you singing? What are you doing? Um, no, I don't sing. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll leave that to you. Mama, just killed a man, put a gun against his head, pulled my trigger, now he's dead. Mama, life has just begun, and now I've gone and thrown it all away. Mama! If I'm not back again this time tomorrow Carry on, carry on As if nothing really mattered Here you go! Yay! Thank you so much! Mr. Mark Reed, everyone! Thank you so much! Thank you! Cool. I thought you were going to say it's rubbish. <laughs> Oh, we've now come to the end of the show. Thank you so much for joining me. It's been brilliant to have you here with me today on the show. Uh, now, a big thank you to Mark Reed from A1. Wasn't he just fantastic? Loving that song at the end there. Just brilliant. If only I could sing too. Uh, now, please do join me next week. My special guest will be Duncan James from Blue. So do join me, same time, same place next week. By the way, I do love hearing from you. Details are on the screen below. I'm Hayley Palmer, stay safe, and I'll see you next week. I was at home, keeping my distance at home, washing my hands of you at home, calling my friends, oh.